What's up everybody, it's Dr. GCA and I'm coming to the short simple tutorial on how to import export textures so you can edit them in Photoshop for GTA 5 PC vehicles and stuff. Now basically you're going to need OpenIV, you're going to need Photoshop, and then you're going to need this filter which is an NVIDIA normal map filter. I'll link it in the description, all three of these. And then we're going to need to open up OpenIV, install it or whatever, and then go to navigate to this location. This is where all the most of the vehicles will be updated. The vShare location is going to be in, I think, the W, or it's going to be in the E. It's either going to be in E, RPF, or W, and that's in DLC packs. And that's going to be in probably... Um, updated Vehicles RPF, and there's all the, the new stuff. There's other, there's other places you can go to find it as well, which I guess maybe E will be the other location, which will be Levels, GTA 5, Vehicles, RPF. And when you go in there, that's the original vehicle location, so you actually see the original V shares at the very bottom, which will be around right here. And there's the V share if you want to replace any of the V share files. That, if you don't know what a V share is, it actually goes for all the files. There's also the truck, the army, the worn ones, and the other interiors for stuff like that. And that's pretty much it for the E1 um, common folder is for um, like if you want to update certain things in the game, like visually um, certain things. So, but we're gonna focus on the vehicles RPF right now. So say you want to replace the cargo bob. You have a cargo bob right here. The two, all the files, and the each each vehicle has like a, say a cargo bob. It has two files: uh, cargo bob YFT and YTD. The YTD is the textures. The YFT is the model. All these files right here, the names are the are the are the YTDs that have textures in it that are used to link to the model. You can remove these to find out which textures are in which file. So you can hit it and it'll remove them. VShare, VShare removed. So that was the black cargo bob YTD. That was the door. Cargo Bob High. That was the whole camouflage. So we already know Cargo Bob High is where the camouflage is replaced. So we're actually going to go to Car Cargo Bob High, which is right here. And the high one is for high poly when you're really close to the vehicle, or if you have the ultra graphic settings on. It won't use this unless you have ultra graphics, I think, on. And this is the original textures for the model. They're probably going to have around the same, but one of them is going to have higher quality. Now I don't see any camouflage in here, so obviously that means what? The camouflage is not in here. It's actually going to be in the Cargo Bob YTD. There it is right there. All you have to do now is make sure you're in edit mode and you can click edit mode right here at the top right. You click edit and then you go back into that YTD and it's going to give you more options here. And if you want to, you have to um, export this. You rather remember what it's imported as. It's imported as that file name which, is, which has to be used in order to map it to that. If you change any of this in this name, it won't work. You have to have it the same resolution or it'll be weird. You have to have a DXT1 and you have to have it MIP maps as 7. You have to have these like this. Don't worry, we'll go into this in a second. So you're going to basically export the selected, export it. And once you get it exported, you're going to go back to Photoshop. Um, and you're going to basically go in here and edit it. Now there's an easier way to do this and we're going to go over that right now, which is using this thing called the texture editor, which is I'm going to link in the description as well. You run the tool. As soon as it runs, you go to File, and you load, and you go to your desktop or wherever, and you can actually load a texture. You actually need texture, which you need YTDs in order to load it. So you want to go back to photo uh, to OpenIV, and you're going to right-click on the Cargo Bob, and you're going to extract it to your desktop. Once you get that extracted, you're going to go back to the Texture Editor, and you're going to load the desktop Cargo Bob YTD, and here's all the files you need. So once you get that, you're going to see all the files just as you would with the same format and levels. You're going to go to the camouflage, you're going to uh, edit, and you're going to export it as a DDS. Once you export it, you're going to go back to Photoshop, you're going to go to File, Open, and you're going to open up the Camouflage 512 DDS extension. And you're going to load using default sizes. You're not going to load MIP maps, you're not going to load vertically, and you're going to show the dialog. So once it loads, you're pretty much done. Uh, all you have to do now is edit the texture how you want to, and then you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Save As, and you're going to go DDS, and you're going to overwrite, keep the same file name, 
click yes, it's going to give you options here. Your DDS formats. Now here's how you have to do this. Each file in this OpenIV right here has certain names and certain things that has to be formatted in levels. See some of them have level 7, 9, 6, 7, 7, and then some of them are DXT1 and some of them are DXT5. See it just depends and you have to make sure you get these right. The only way to do that is to go back and look, see it's DXT1 and MitMap7. Okay, so in order to do that in Photoshop, you, you, you generate MitMaps every single time you export. You have to make sure this is always selected. Never use no mit maps or use existing. You want to generate new, and you, you're obviously going to, what was it? The camouflage one, which was seven. So you're going to go and make this seven, and you're going to use the DXT ARGB 4BP 1 bit alpha. You always use alpha, never use a no alpha. And then you save it. And once it's saved, it's done. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that one more time for a different one, say like this one right here, DXT5, um, MIP-MAP7. Okay, you want to do a DXT5 when you go back here, File, Save As. You want to save it as DXT5. You, there's two DXT5 options here. You're not going to use the XY. You're going to use the A, which is the interpolated alpha. And obviously, that one is using DXT5 and MIP-MAP7 and this is generate mitmap 7 you click save I don't want to do it because I don't want to mess up the texture for the other one but if you're using that other texture right here in Photoshop and you had it open that's what you would export it as never use any other options other than DXT5 ARGB 8BP and DXT1 ARGB 1-bit alpha those are the only ones you want to use and you always want to generate new it's pretty much it so once you get your texture edited you can go back cancel this and then you can go back to the texture editor and then you're going to go to file and you're going to go to import and you're going to import the DDS that you just edited however you edited it right there and boom when you import it look DXT 1 7 when you're done with that you're going to save it and I guess I'll just you know what I guess I'm just going to edit one just to show you guys real quick I don't know why I didn't edit it <laughs> All right, so we'll just make this different colors and we'll save it. I'm gonna do it really quickly. And that's DXT1 ARGB generate new seven. Once that's done, make sure I've, I verify seven DXT1, file import and import the new one, DXT1, boom, it's there. Once it's done, save it. You can exit this program. You can exit this when you don't need it anymore. And you go here and you hit this right here and you import it oh I'm sorry you don't do that you hit plus sign and you hit Kargabob YTD and you import it and it will work it's going to import right in there as the art the YTD when you open it there it is all ready to go it's pretty much it it's all you have to do for this just make sure if you messed up like I just did you delete that file which is down here um, deleting it right now right click and delete and you don't have to rebuild, sometimes you have to, sometimes you don't. And you can exit this or you can rebuild it. That's all you have to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video helps you, uh, like it. If it didn't, dislike it, whatever. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Don't forget when you go in game, when you spawn the vehicle to make sure it's there and all that stuff. Or you can go back to OpenIV and you can do this as well. You can go look and you can go back to that original location you were just at reopen so I guess we'll reopen the the one we were just in which is update RPF where'd you go and we'll go back to it and we'll go to cargo Bob we'll look at the cargo Bob and look at the difference on it nothing different let's go see if it actually changed so there it is and let's look in here nothing's changed nothing's changed but when you look at the viewport you should be able to see you know the difference so actually you know what we'll just remove the high and boom there it is you can see it's changed everything yeah but that's pretty much if you want to view it you don't have to go in game to uh to view it you can just view it right here just make sure you
turn off the high. But yeah, that's it. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys later.